Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV. Welcome to North Carolina Weekend. I'm Deborah Holt Noel. Before there were photojournalists, there were artist reporters. During the Civil War, these artist reporters were dispatched to capture images for popular illustrated newspapers of the day. The Civil War era drawings for the Becker Collection is on exhibit at the Cameron Art Museum in Wilmington. Producer Derek Long has more on these hitherto unpublished first-hand drawings of American history. The grounds of the Cameron Art Museum in Wilmington are the site of a Civil War battle called the Battle of Forks Road. On February 20th, 1865, Major General Robert F. Hoke's men made a stand here in an attempt to halt the Union forces marching on Wilmington after the fall of Fort Fisher. Historical markers tell that story, while currently an exhibition inside the museum gives another view of the Civil War. This is an exhibition of 127 drawings done eyewitness firsthand from the era of the Civil War. Journalism and newspapers of the time were somewhat different publications than today's. We have to put aside our modern day news minds and expectations. They're not reporters of the time. Um, and even news venues prior to Frank Leslie's innovations were divided into newspapers, which were basically testimonials about events. And then another group of uh, publications called pictorials, which had engravings of images that were newsworthy. Frank Leslie in his illustrated newspaper combined these two. The Civil War brought an increasing demand for news. The process to publish photographs in newsprint wasn't developed until the 1880s. So at the time, special artists were dispatched to help capture the actions that were happening in the field. The special artists assigned to do these drawings that were working for Frank Leslie's Illustrated newspaper at the time. They have documented further eyewitness accounts to add veracity to the drawing because the artists were trying to sell that particular drawing to the newspaper. The artists made their money per drawing. These works are from the collection of Joseph Becker, who worked for Frank Leslie's Illustrated weekly newspaper. Though with no formal training as an artist, Becker demonstrated a natural talent for drawing and he was dispatched as a special artist. So we see from our very first gallery his tentative early drawings. One's most touching are of some very small tombstones of Union soldiers at Gettysburg. And you see it's quite a, it's quite a, um, a raw hand. Drawing has built into it the element of time. So the information that the artists were able to capture of an active battle uh, moves past that ocular moment of activity. They are trying to get down as much information as possible to pass on to the stable of printmakers, engravers, that are reiterating these images in the newspaper. So the drawings are very gestural, they're very quick, they're very immediate. To help capture that moment for the engravers and publishers, the artist's works would often contain notes to help clarify the scenes they were sketching. In one gallery, visitors can see how that collaborative process worked. The museum visitor can see the original drawing and then a reproduction of how that drawing was accepted by the newspaper and reinterpreted in an engraving. And you also see the editing on the part of the engravers. So the, the compositions change, and occasionally the content changes as to who is represented, who might be a, a character more dominant in the story or not. Think how highly charged, how politically charged this time is. There's such an immediacy. We have the extraordinary gift, I think through this medium, to truly travel to that moment. This is Derek Long for North Carolina Weekend. The Cameron Art Museum is located at 3201 South 17th Street in Wilmington, and they're open Tuesday through Sunday. For more information, give them a call at 910-395-5999 or check them out online at cameronartmuseum.com. 
podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV.